All right, everybody, welcome back to the Xavier Klein Jr. series here on Madden 24. The Elk are a game above 500 early in this season, and they are in first place in the NFC South. We have a tough game against the New York Football Giants, my favorite team, and it's going to be fun. I hope we have a shot at them. When you look at the uh, Giants here, it looks like they have their franchise QB and Jacob rushing, followed by another good player in Trent Carvey. And then they got a 70 overall QB three in Doug Murphy. Halfback's going to be Will Langham here at a 79 overall with Josh Gomez. Wide receivers, Bernie Carruthers, second year receiver there with Dante Bullard. Kayon Leslie and Isaiah Conley. So some younger guys there, it looks like, in their crew. Chad McAllister, fourth year in the NFL there as an 80 overall with Michael Mayer, the Wiley veteran, uh, as tight end two. Left tackle is going to be seventh year Timmy Johnson. They got Andrew Belton at left guard, followed by Jonathan Lehman at center. Austin Irving at right guard and Anton Harrison the 14-year veteran there, and then looks like they got a third-year tackle that's ready to roll, too. Left end's going to be Julian Flowers with Ron Combs. Good OVRs. Interior uh, line there, Manny Hill and Randy Beckham. Big dudes. Left outside linebacker, Lorenzo Stockton. Interior linebackers, Joel Flynn and Bradley Friedman with Carlos Medina at right outside linebacker. Corners, Ramon Lawton. Cooper DeGene! <laughs> Jelani Downs and Larry Kirkpatrick. Free safety Felix Starks with strong safety Daniel Frank. So very good crew. OVR looks solid compared to us, right? Our team right now is a 77 overall, and they are an 83 offense, 81 defense. So very good crew. Let's get to it. So we are playing against the Giants in MetLife. A... Uh, Pretty old stadium, but look at Brendan Peters last week. 335 yards, four touchdowns, one interception. He truly went off in a way that shocked me. I didn't expect him to get that crazy, and he did. So now the hope is can he ball, 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 ball out here? Uh, the team looks freaking solid so far. They are fighting tooth and nail right now to be the best, and I think they can, man. The, the elk can get there, but these Giants team... They aren't the same old Giants. We are 10 years into the future. They look freaking good. This is going to be fun here, man. Let's get it done, baby. Defense coming out in a heavy line set. It's a 2-4 mug. They're going to hand it off here to 22. He's got plenty of room. He gets pushed forward. An 11-yard gain there. The 2-4 mug is not really the right uh, formation you want to have against the run play and we paid the price on that one shotgun set bunch left here they rush four rushing throws it to the flats there and he goes nowhere Langham loses two yards on that pass J.R. Burke our starting middle linebacker getting it done there single back set Defense rushes four. Throws a quick shot. Drag route right there over to their wide, wide receiver, number 88, and he gets seven. A little quick shot right there to the starting wide receiver, Carruthers. We got a two tight ends on the right side of that line. Wide receiver stack close left. Defense with a quick shot. Throws it out route. What a catch by the tight end. I thought he hit him pretty well. That's uh, the Carruthers again. Excuse me. I thought it was a tight end. And uh, the Giants able to convert here. First and 10 at the 50-yard line. Three receivers set. Two on the right, one on the left. Rushing, making a change of the line. Elk send four. Throws it to the flats. Tight end breaks the initial hit. And he gets about four on that one. We got a shotgun. Very close set here. They send four. They're going to hand it off. Langham pushing forward. And he gets almost first down right there. Good run by number 22. Trips right. Empty bench set here for these Giants. Rushing sees something. They send six. That was a quick shot. He read the blitz. He knew what was coming and got the ball out right over the rush. And Bullard gets a first down there. 
Strong side formation. 7.50 left here in the first quarter. Play action here for rushing. He's rolling out. He feels the trouble. Throws it away just in time. And we got second and 10 at the 33. Shotgun set here. Rush four. Trouble gets hit on that one. 11 wasn't expecting the pass. We're good on that one. Trips left. 738 left here in the first quarter. There's rushing, stepping back. Those are right over for the first down. Andrew on the field. It looks like an O lineman and Timmy Johnson. But uh, they get the first down. Leslie with another big catch. Shotgun set. They've only ran the ball twice. The defense has yet to get to the QB, right? Langham with the catch there in the flats, and it's a two yarder. When are we going to get right here, man? Come on. Let's get it done. Wide bunch left, empty bench. Quick shot right there. 83 keeps his legs moving. He gets positive yards on that one. Oh, my goodness. Trips left. Shotgun set here. Right up the middle. 89 got clipped. Big hit right there by the defense. And the Giants bend. I mean, the elk bend, but don't break there. Ooh, that was close. Let's get it done. Old is good, kick is good, and the Giants are up 3-0 there on their first drive. Single back, deuce close here. Peters has the time. Throws a drag route, getting it over to Anderson. Who's going to get about seven on that one. Let's keep it rolling, man. Shotgun split set. Defense with seven in the box here. And four has time just hits a check down right there nice grab gets about a yard short of the first down mark that's number 29 three receiver set here tight end off the right side of the line we're gonna hand it off love the call here oh what a move little juke action by Caulfield and the uh, elk get the first down there Love the balance. Let's keep it rolling. Shotgun set. Tied in off the left side of the line. Giants rush four. Peters has time. Throws a shot. What a catch. And there it is, man. The guy that was kind of on our depth chart is staying there. Daryl McCoy. And he is now becoming that guy that uh, I could see being our future one. Um, I thought it was going to be Ramon Reyes, Hayes, but I think Ramon Hayes is a pretty good two here uh, based on his speed. So as long as we keep that balance up, I'm not looking too bad there. Eye formation set. They're going for an uh, outside zone. Way to cut back there. Good patience by 29, and he's going to get about eight on that one. Let's get it done here. Shotgun, three receiver set, two on the left, one on the right. Four on the line here. Throws it on the slant, and it's dropped by Hayes. I was just talking about this guy, and he ends up with an incomplete pass here. Third and two at the 36. Two tight ends on the right side of the line. Defense coming out in a 6-1. Draw, play action here. Peters has time, throws a shot. Nice play. Hitting the big target, number 86. That's what you need right there, man. Keep it rolling here, Elk. Strong side formation. Let's see if you can get it done, baby. Hands it off here. Sets his run. Nice, dude. He's kind of like a crazy stop and go. And uh, number 29 with almost a first down. It should have been a first down, but we'll take what we can get there. Let's keep it rolling, man. Empty bench set here. Peter's making a change of the line. Pump fake. Throws a comeback route there. It was like a reverse zig route. That's a nice catch by Anderson. Was being targeted quite a bit today. First and goal at the two. Goal line v. Goal line here. 
Hands it right up the middle. 29 gets pushed into the end zone by our center. And there you have it. Very nicely balanced freaking drive right there. I like that, man. Elk fans going nuts in the stands as visitors here in the Meadowlands. And uh, I just like how 29 just stayed patient. And I loved how the O-line really worked through it. Oh, it looks like Rushing's making a change to the line. 119 left here in the first quarter. They set a ton of blitzes there. And what a play. The quarterback set up his tight end to not get smoked. Dude, these, this Giants team is freaking solid. Shotgun set here. Throws it to the flats. And McAllister had to go back behind the first down mark to get that. And he ends up uh, a yard short here. 15 seconds left in the first, qu first uh, quarter here. Third and one. They're going to play action here for rushing. Rushing has it. Wide open is 86. He's going to take it all the way to the freaking 34. That's 88. That is freaking Carruthers. Why is he so wide open here, man? Why is he so wide open? End of the first quarter. But they got some possibilities, man. Let's get it done. Shotgun. Close set here. Defense with five on the line. They send six. Rushing. No issue. Throws a deep shot. Just too far on that one. Just a little too far on that one. Second and ten here. Spread set. And it looks like their tight ends open on the right. Play action here. Troubles the will, baby. Let's get it done. No will with the sack. Way to play right there, man. Oh my goodness. Third and 17. Wide receiver stack right. Rushing feels the pressure. He knows what's up. Throws it away. And the Giants are, I think they're a little away from a, like they're, they're kind of far. Oh, wow. It's a 58 yarder. Off the left hash here. Old is good. Kick is short and left. No good. Was that good? No good. I don't think that was good. Yeah, it was short and to the left. Giants went for it. That was a gamble. Don't know why they did that, but Elk are in great field position. 11-13 left here in the half. Peters trying to roll around. He gets freaking smoked. Great grab by the left tackle. And this has everything to do, right? The pressure is happening on the right side because Ginn isn't there. So the O-line has to get changed up on the right side of that line. And trouble is going to happen more often on that side than not. Peters throws it on the run. And what a snag right there by Ramon Hayes. What a throw by Peters. What a throw by Peters. He runs into that pressure right there. Gets it done. Hayes with a great grab over the shoulder. Nothing colder. Cooper DeGene was guarding him. And the Giants got first and 10 at the 25, man. Can you believe that right here? Single back, deuce close. 10, 10 left here in the half. They're going to hand it off. Great patience by 29. That's all you need to do, man. Just play freaking patiently. High formation set. Two tight ends on the left side of that line. Play action here for Peters. Throws it over the top. Hits it back shoulder. And that's a touchdown. I think that's Anderson. No, it's Carroll. Chuck Carroll. Tight end two. Getting it done. Shotgun trips right. He sent four. Peters throws a seam route. Wide open is Burke. He's going to take it to the 30. Down at the 23. Number 86 is the real McCoy, folks. He is the real McCoy. For sure. Oh, my goodness. First and 10 at the 23-yard line. We got a strong side formation here. Hands it up the middle. 29. Gets to about the 18. Keep it going, man. Keep it going.
Unbelievable how good this team's been playing right now. Shotgun trips left. Draw play here. And there he goes. Oh, what a run. Caulfield taking off like a battering ram right now. Dude, he was getting it done. Strong side formation. Let's see how they can continue to play here. Peters making a change to the line. 648 left. They're going to pass it. Peters took a ton of steps back. He feels the pressure. He's in trouble. Nowhere to go in the giant swarm. The Giants swarm. Come on, man. Strong side formation here. Hands it off. 29, fighting forward to get back some of those yards. It'll be third and goal to three. We need this to work out, man. Trips right here, third and goal. They send five. Peters feels the pressure, throws it over the top, and it's picked off in the end zone by Cooper to Gene. What a play right there. A little bait action by 39. And just like that, and just like that, the Giants get it done. Peters waited a little too long. It was intended for Lance Nickerson. Just no luck there. Trips left here. Second and three. 11 20 left here in the third. Out route. Nice catch right there by Ramon Hayes. We get the first down. Come on, man. See if you can figure this one out here. Throws a shot. Nice catch. And he doesn't stop. That's Anderson taking it all the way to the 27. I love that right there, man. He didn't stop. He kept it rolling. That was a seam. Like, it looked like a seam route, and he, it ends up being a, a flag pattern. 34 trying to just push him over with hopes of momentum and make him fall. And just like that, no issue there. We got ourselves a first and 10 at the 27. Trips right. The Elk have gotten down here a couple times. They just haven't finished some of the plays. I need them to get it done, man. Come on, man. Trips left. 16.53. Peters feels the pressure, throws it. Oh, it's dropped. Oh, my goodness. Empty bench here. Trips left, third and five. Come on. Got time. Right up the middle. It's caught by Lance Nickerson. That's what you needed right there. That's what you needed right there, man. Okay, come on. Come on. Peters rolling out. Does not throw the ball away. Come on. Combs has had two. Golly, man. We need a better scenario here, folks. Peters needs to be better. We need to stay within field goal range. That's my focus right now. Shotgun set. Draw play here. There you go. I'll take that. That just gives us a chance right now to just be in a better spot here. Trips right. Let's see if we can figure this one out, man. Peters setting up for the screen play. He's got some blockers. Oh, Alan Cox almost got there. Decent run, but we're within range. So I'll take it. Should be an easier field goal here. And just like that, the uh, Elk are up. 17-6. High formation set here. They are going to run. Wow, Langham. He is running hard on that one. Man. Come on, dude. Come on. Play action here for rushing. Sets his feet, throws it over to the right. What a throw. 
What a throw, man. Wow. Did not expect that. Easy shot right there. Going opposite field. So he's definitely trying to keep it rolling there, man. Rushing throws it over to the right. And he still hangs on to it despite a big hit. Golly, man. Come on. Two tight ends on the left side of that line there. Defense with seven in the box. Outside zone for Langham. He's got plenty of room. He's going to take it to the 30. Oh, my gosh. What a play by Tashawn Choice there. It would have been a touchdown if not for that one. Let's keep it rolling, man. Don't give up. Rushing. Feels the pressure. Checks down here to Langham. Langham fighting forward. He's going to be down to 22. Like what I'm seeing there. Second and three. Clock continues to tick. Come on. Play action here for rushing. Checks down. Oh, I thought he had that. He hung on to it. First and 10 in the red zone now. Come on, Elk. Strong side formation here. Rushing, clean pocket, right up the freak. Oh, what a throw. He hits number 83, but the throw itself to Bullard was ridiculous. Look at this, all the chaos around him. He does not get phased whatsoever. A, the uh, <laughs> the sideline for the elk are quite upset, but that was an amazing throw. You got to be cool with that. They're going to hand it off here, and 30 gets into the end zone. Josh Gomez. Way to go, young man. Way to go. Second and 21, single back bunch left. Peter's making tons of mistakes right now. Play action here. Peters throws it on the run. Wide open! Wide open! Oh my goodness! Why is he so wide open? Lance Nickerson off the play action. Wow. Oh my goodness. They got fooled by it, and then Nickerson is wide open. Jukes Franks. The Elk defense saying, oh my goodness, is this the truth here? Trips left, first and 10 at the 46. Peters makes a change at the line, just flips the field. Right now, Peters is on track to throw another 300-yard game. He's got time, throws a shot, and that's a big play by Ramon Hayes. Oh, no, Ginn is hurt again. He was just hurt. Now he's going to the bench. The O-line getting adjusted there. First and 10 at the 22-yard line, trips right. They send four. He's got time. Come back route. Nice. Oh, he dropped it. Come on, man. 27 is a dog. I formation set here. Second and 10 at the 22-yard line. 132 left here in the third. I formation. They're going for the toss. They got the blockers. There goes Alan Cox. He's got plenty of room. He gets the first down. Great blocking upfield right there. They cut the edge off. Ensured that Cox had a huge lane down the left side. And uh, the drive stays alive with about a 105 left in the third quarter. Weak side formation. Goal line defense there. They're going to hand it off. And that got annihilated from the get. Another injury on the field, folks. Our right freaking tackle. First round pick McDo or uh, prospect McDougal is hurt. Oh, my goodness. This O-line is starting to collapse. Second and goal at the seven. Got to change the line there by Peters. Gonna step in, throws it out route. I don't know who he was throwing to, but he had two players combined there in Carroll and McCoy. Trips left here. Third and goal. 58 seconds left here in the third. They're gonna rush four. Peters has time. He's gonna take off running. He's gonna fight for it. He does. He just bull rushed the Giants defense. Brennan Peters says, I'll just do it myself. I love this call. Why? It forces them to have to use most of the clock here. And they just throw the ball. It doesn't convert. It's all good. He hits it, though. And that's it. The Elk win. Brennan Peters, 
23 for 32, 365 yards. He threw a pick in the end zone while we were in the red zone. But still 71 completion percentage. Alan Cox running strong. Caulfield doing what he needs to do, receiving. There it is. That's why. Look at this. Six for 98 for Ramon Hayes. Six for 103 for Daryl McCoy. Braden Anderson, four for 68. Really, really incredible situations going on right now. Sacks were really rough today. We, we gave up a couple. Um, it is what it is in that space. But Teron Choice with 11 double di uh, with double digit tackles today. Two tackles for loss for J.R. Burke and one sack. Um, there's our rookie, Del Weston, getting a sack today. Chris Noel got one. I really liked how our guys played. We had a pick by Leslie Jackson today. Force fumble by J.R. Burke. So very good game for the Elk. All right, everybody. Welcome back to the Xavier Klein Jr. Series here on uh, Madden 24. We're in week number seven of the 2036 season. And the Elk are 4-2 going against a division rival here in the Austin Armadillos, who are also 4-2. 8.38 left here in the first quarter. Tied in off the left side of that line. Defense coming out in a 2-4 mug. They send them all. Throws a seam route. It's caught. That was a great throw to number 88 there. That's Langford for a 24-yard game. First and 10 to the 36-yard line. Spread set. Defense. Um, coming out in the same formation. They throw a wheel route. Oh, 37 had that intended for Conley. I thought he had the pick, as you can see there. Bartell could be back soon. Broughton's out for two weeks. Bo Stevens out for a week. Uh, guys just really hurt, man. Bo Stevens has been a nice player for us in the rush package. Not having him is definitely a, a tough situation. Trips right, throws it over on us. Just a stick call. Uh, tight end doesn't go down initially. Gets about four there, third and six. Trips left. Defense with four on the line here. 720 left here in the first. Wide open right on the seam route as a tight end. I saw that. I saw that. Oh, my goodness. First and goal at the eight. And the defense, as you can see, right, they're playing kind of light in certain areas. They're just kind of out paced. And there's a slant right underneath. And the Armadillo score quickly here. I don't see myself trying to bring in any other guys here uh, for, for quite some time. Peter's trying to think about running, and he does. He finally finds the room, and my goodness, he had a lot of space. He gets 24 yards on that one. Good decision right there by Peters as uh, we are now in Armadillo territory. 17 seconds left here in the first quarter. Empty bench. Peters has time, throws it on the run, and it's caught by, guess who, Daryl McCoy. I think that's his third reception of the game already. And uh, it's nice to see there. Peters seems to only really like him used to be McDougal and, and uh, Lance Nickerson and Roman Hayes. It's pretty much 86 now. I haven't, everyone else is taking a back seat. Shotgun, double wide receiver stack. They send four there are the Armadillos. Peters throws a deep shot. Whoa! Intended for McCoy. Was that not pass interference there? Oh my goodness. 11.56 left here in the first half. Six in the box here for the Armadillos. They're going to hand it off. They got the room. There you go. Harrell gets a freaking run. So I got Harrell playing third down back now over Caulfield. Main reason, I want to see what we got, right, in Harrell. We got to continue to mix it up. And I think Harrell could do some work for us. Third and one. They're going to pass this. Throws it right underneath. Nice catch right there by the tight end, Anderson. And it's first and ten inside the red zone. Canton currently beating the Raiders at 14-0. Raiders have been a huge Super Bowl team in this series uh, during the advancing. Trips left. He's got time. Throws it over to the right. Just throws it away. Drake May for the Raiders has been amazing. Three receiver set. Shotgun formation. Two on the left, one on the right. Six in the box there for those armadillos. They only rush four. Peters throws it to the left, and it's caught by Carroll, the tight end. Good throw right there by Peters. Able to get a touchdown on the board here for the Elk. That is great to see there. Second and three here. 
They're going to hand it off again, and they get the run play. Looks like the armadillos are recognizing the huge, huge, freaking uh, short shortfall we have right now with the front five, front four. We're going to hand it off for an outside zone, and there you go again. Another run with positive yards. Second and four here. Less than nine minutes in the half. Pistol formation now for these armadillos. Tied in off the right side of that line. 8.50 left here in the half. They're going to play action here. He's got time. Throws it on the run. Hits the running back out of the backfield. Gets the first down right there. And it's first and 10 at the 34-yard line. They're getting down the field. Started at the 11. They're getting down slowly but surely. But you keep that defense out there long enough. We're going to eventually screw it up. We send them all. He throws it under the knee. Oh, I thought he was throwing it underneath. He threw for uh, to the outside and hits Langford there. We sent the blitz. It just didn't work out that time. 740 left here in the half. Shotgun, a bunch right. Tight end. Uh, linebacker looks tired. Yeah, they went for an overflow here. And he hits a comeback route. He breaks one tackle. Gets the first down. Unbelievable. Ooh, veteran Talais Fuaga injured on that play there. He's on the medical bench. Goodness, Eagles beat the uh, Monarchs there. Bunch left. They send four. Got time, hits it on the hook route there. It's going to be a catch by the tight end, second and four. Shotgun set. Looks like uh, tight end off the right side of that line and then a tight end on the left. He's in four. Has time. Throws it to the left. Good defense. Great defense by Quincy Thomas right there. 6.50 left here in the half. It'll be third and fourth to 34 yard line. Single back bunch right. Defense coming out with freaking looks like five on the line. They send six. No issue there. Oh, what a play by 22. What a play by 22. Oh, my goodness. That's Jackson there. And it's fourth and four, and the Armadillos said, hey, man, we're trying this. Two tight ends on the right side of that line. Has time, hits his tight end for a first down. Armadillo saying, no risk it, no biscuit, baby. Let's keep it going. The defense is out there. They started on the 11. Oh, my gosh. They got to be exhausted. They send six, and he found his way through. Throws it to the end zone. Touchdown, Sean Langford. What a play. We sent the freaking mid-gap blitz there. And he finds his way to... Oh, my goodness. We need more freaking plays here by the offense. Trips left. 6.03 left here in the half. They send four. Throws it over to the right. And Anderson gets smoked right there by the linebacker. Second and ten. Trips left. I'm not seeing much right now by... Not too many players here. Rush for again. Peters throws it on the run. Wide open is a tight end. Anderson gets it this time. Oh, let's go. We are now in Armadillo territory. 525 left here in the half. Trips left again. They send four. Peters has the time. He's thinking about running. It looks like he will. He's got some blockers in front of him. He takes off down the sideline. And he's down at the 21. Big run right there by the quarterback 445 left here in the half trips left again dude they must love this formation here but i i do like it because it oh he found his way through oh my gosh him running this ball though is really dangerous he's gonna get tired he's gonna get hit and he's gonna lose the ball so if he's gonna run the ball i'd say run it with the running back please don't run the ball with your qb Strong side formation. They're going to hand it up the middle. 29 goes nowhere. Unfortunately, this Armadillo freaking team is no joke. Trips left. 335 left here in the half. Defense looks like they're going to send five. They only send four. Looks like a flood concept. Peters has to run again, and he does, but he looks exhausted, man. He looks exhausted. Trips left, uh, excuse me, three receivers set, two on the left, one on the right. You got Harrell in the backfield. He's going to try to pass it, and he's in trouble. And you figured that was going to happen. Oh, my goodness. Lock is ticking here, 225 left here in the half. Eater's making a change at the line. 
Ten four. Peters throws a freaking rainbow drop. And who is that two? Number 87, the rookie Luke Lamb. What a throw by Peters there. Just throws a nice little raindrop. Oh, baby, that was sweet. And there you have it, folks. Um, you know, I got tons of players on my team that need a contract, and we got the cap space to do it. So I could see myself, you know, trying to... Oh, that's picked off! That's picked off by number 30! Hardesty! Our free safety getting involved! Yeah, but I, I could see myself kind of re-signing a lot of the guys and, and kind of keeping this team together as much as possible. There it is, Hardesty getting it done is 85 who got the first down initially tried to possession catch and uh left it open there so two uh turnover a piece for each, uh for the teams there peter sets his feet throws it he's loving his target anderson first time out call right there by the elk as it's first and 10 at the 24 yard line trips left they send four Peters sets his feet, throws it underneath there to Lance Nickerson, who's going to get eight yards. He takes a nasty hit, but the uh, timeout is now called there. Two timeouts used, one remaining. Single back formation, wide receiver stack left. Um, close here, 39 seconds left. They're going to pass the ball. Peters has time, throws it underneath once again. And that's Daryl McCoy this time. So the clock is going to continue to tick here. Are they going to go for it? Looks like no huddle now. Same formation. Peters calling a ton of changes here at the line. They're going to go for a fake jet sweep. Halfback dive for 29. He's close. He's close. Oh, man. They're going to call a timeout here. I love it. 10 seconds left. You can go for it. You can draw a little clock here. But if you get freaking sacked, that's over with. Wide receiver stack right. They send it. He throws it over. There you go. Great job. Great job. Third and goal. I think you can throw it. I think you can throw it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. They don't got a goal line now. Bunch right here. Shotgun formation. Seven seconds left here in the half. He's got time. Throws it underneath. And it's caught by the tight end. Braden Anderson getting it done. It was an 89. Now it's 88. And the Elk have taken the lead here at the end of the half. What a play right there. I thought he was trying to throw to Harrell. But it was, yeah, I thought I was trying to throw it to Harrell. But I'll take it. Big catch right there by the tight end. Three wide receivers set, two on the right, one on the left here. Looks like uh, Peters wants to go to an empty bench concept. They send four. Peters has time. Nice. Oh! What's going on with Lance Dickerson now? Why is he dropping the ball? Oh, no. Trips left here. 330 left here in this third quarter. Throws it underneath. There you go. Lance Nickerson catches that one. Dropped that one before. That really sucked. He's two for 12 today. Single back. Deuce close. 255 left here in the third quarter. Play action here. He's got time. Does a little spin a Rooney. <laughs> and why were my two tight ends running the same route? What the heck is that about? Did I just rhyme? That's not good. Second and 10. Trips right. 253 left here. They send four. Peters has no time. He got hit on that one. 16 for 28 so far today. Uh, three receivers set. Two on the right, one on the left. Anderson on the left side of that line. They send four. Peters throws it on the run. He throws a deep shot. Oh, my gosh. Just throws a prayer to Ramon Hayes, and it works. Oh, my gosh. What a throw. Peters just says, hey, man, Ramon Hayes is out there somewhere, and you did not press him. You gave room for the speedster, and he gets it done. What a catch by Ramon Hayes. Trips left once again. They send five again. Arley get He gets another pick. Big mistake right there. It's Jackson who's going to take it all the way to the 14. First and 10 in the red zone for the Salt Lake City Elk. Do we see the change in the guard in this division? It was the Armadillos quite a bit in this freaking division. And now, is it the Elks time? Is it their time to get it done here? Peters with great freaking field position. 
I'm hoping he runs the ball a little bit here. No reason to force anything too crazy. 234 left. They're going for a toss. And that's a decent run right there by uh, 29, who gets to the six-yard line. Second and two now. Less than uh, two minutes here in the third. We got a bunch right scenario. Harrell's in the backfield. They're going for a screen. He gets it to Harrell. Harrell's got the room, and that's another touchdown for the Oak. Oh, baby, Tavares Harrell getting into the end zone. The O-line is pumped for him. O'Neal's back in the field. Nice to see that. Here we go. Trips left. Shotgun formation. Defense sends four there. He's in trouble, and Quincy Thomas gets the sack. And that's a turnover and downs, baby. Oh, my goodness. We had Quincy Thomas playing outside linebacker. Like I said, it has a lot to do with just we're shorthanded. And I got my linebackers really getting to work today. Oh, baby. So my whole thing is force the armadillos to use all their timeouts. We're down by, they're down by two possessions. So run the ball. There you go. And I think he's going to get the first down. No, it's second and one. They should have let him get the first down. 152 left here. Two timeouts remaining. They get this first down. It should be, oh, wow. 29 got hurt. We had to use a timeout. You can't make that up, dude. There you go. Harold gets the first down. Armadillos have to use their first time out there. 147 left here. Run the ball again. There you go. Harold gets about six. One timeout remaining. Single back bunch left. Hands it off to Harold. Harold gets a, maybe a yard or so. Third and three. Spread formation here. Hands it off again. Harold gets the first down. That'll do it, folks. Oh, my gosh. At least we uh, we got that figured out there. I'd say this. Brennan Peters, right? He throws the two interceptions. One late in the game, uh, which kind of scared me a little bit. But he threw five touchdowns. He threw one pick in the beginning of the game and then threw five consecutive touchdowns, right? <laughs> there was a pick to end it, it, his day today, but it was still pretty amazing to see, man. I'm pretty proud of how this Elk team is working out. They're a 77 overall team, but things are working. I think it's the game plan, dude. More than anything else, the game plan is working out here by Xavier Klein Jr. Just like his father, he, he seemed to figure it out. And uh, <clears throat> I think the defense is pretty unstoppable right now. 35-21, when you look at it, Peters, 276 yards, five touchdowns, two interceptions. It's got to be a little bit better. His accuracy was kind of rough today. Running game didn't go so well. But look at the love. The love was shared today. Um, Hayes, two for 80 at a 48-yard bomb, five for 70 for McCoy, five for 62 for Anderson. And then a couple other guys only had one catch. Lamb and Carroll, they got a touchdown with their catch. And Tavares, Har Tavares Harrell had a touchdown. So, love that. A lot of sacks given up. Um, but this O-line's kind of trying to stay together with some glue. So, we're down a couple guys and work through it. Double-digit tackles today for Burke. Love to see that. 14 tackles is a lot. Three tackles for loss for Adams today. And Chris Noel with two and a half. Adams, two. J.R. Burke and Quincy Thomas with a uh, sack and a half. Uh, we had a lot of sacks today. It happened at the end of the game, and then we had three picks. Austin, Hardesty, and Jackson, great job today. You love to see it. Uh, my goodness, we are having a good time. All right, everybody, welcome back to the Xavier Klein Jr. Series here on Man in 24. We are in week number eight of the 2036 season. So, knowing that our team's been kicking some butt, we're actually going to try to see if we can speed through some of this season and um, maybe get us to maybe about week 14 or so. So, we're going to jump in and out of some games. We will watch through the simulation, see how the games work. And the hope is that uh, this team is on track for a playoff run. So, that'll be the goal in this upcoming episode. Today, uh, this first game, excuse me, it'll be against the New Orleans Saints. Let's get it done, baby. It is a division opponent. 
Here we go, playing in the Superdome. It was actually kind of neat to be able to see that stadium in person. Um, uh, during Christmas, it was kind of cool to see what it looked like. Uh, pretty cool place. Um, area, city's definitely different than where I live, but um, it'll be cool to see these Saints. Maybe one day they'll get better. But today, I hope it will not be the case or the start of it. The Elk currently 5-2 and two against the New Orleans Saints, who are 2-5. and five. They got a legit freaking quarterback, right? 98 overall, Cat. Just doesn't seem to have the pieces around him to succeed. Where for us, you know, most of our guys are 77 uh, OVR or lower. And I think the game plan seems to work. But it's time to get it going here, baby. Let's go. So we're going to go ahead and sim the first quarter, see what happens here. The Elk take it down the field. They score seven. The Saints score seven. Ooh, let's get to the next quarter. The defenses are fighting through it. 13-7, 14-13. So it looks like the Elk went for it a two, I guess. Don't know what happened there. And the Saints are up 21 to 13. Let's check out this quarter and see what happens. Elk got the ball inside the red zone here. Second and one. I formation set two tight ends on the right side of that line. They're motioning over Carroll from right to left. And hand it off. There it is. Oh, what a stop by the defense. Look at this. Saints. Bottom third of the freaking league, but today they've kicked butt. Third and one, wide bunch left. Peters has time, hits the out route, and they get the first down. No idea why the Saints defense played like an umbrella at the end zone. Anderson able to get the catch there. Goal line defense here for those Saints. I formation set, they're going for the toss. Number 29 trying to follow his blockers, bully his way through, and he has nowhere to go. Armadillos lose. Houston, they're starting to figure it out. They're beating the crap out of teams right now. Single back, deuce close. Goal line defense for the Saints once again. They're going to pass the ball here. He's got no time. Big sack by Hankins up the, in, up the middle there. And we're looking at third and goal at the nine. Empty bench set. Trips left. 940 left here in this one. See if Peters can put the ball into the end zone there. No luck. And the right tackle again is hurt again. This guy was hurt for most of the season. And now he's hurt again. This is tough, man. Our team is having a deal with so many injuries this season. Uh, but I like the fact that the Elks stayed within range to at least kick a field goal. See if the offense can find a way against this 2-5 and five Saints squad in their house. 21-16, 9-33 left here in this one. The Elk are going to boot this to about the 3. 15, 20, 25, 26 maybe? Good return right there by the Saints. Single back, deuce close. Defense. Seven in the box here. They're going to hand it off. And Tomlinson. He has 14 yards on the ground today. Does have a touchdown. Looks like the rushing defense has found a way. And, and I, you know, having McLean in the group again, it's been nice. It's a quick shot right there over to his tight end. Goes nowhere. Injury on the field, though. Looks like O lineman Evan Teague is out of it. Third and seven. Shotgun set here. 851 left here in this one. Right up the middle, what a post! There was a post pattern shot right there, defended by Leslie Jackson. And the Elks defense steps up once again. I need the Elk offense to do some work though. That's the thing, is this team, they go in these ruts. The offensive side, the defensive side is always impeccable. Um, but the offensive side always tends to struggle. Uh, not quite sure if it's the quarterback or game plan but for some reason well, this team's got work to do single back formation here big jet sweep half back dive 
There's a flag on the play. You're gonna call holding? There it is. Oh my goodness. Braden Anderson with a big mistake. It'll be first and 17. Shotgun split. Tight end off the left side of the line. They're gonna hand it off to 29 to the outside. He found some room, but much. It's about two. Look at the Snowhawks. They beat the Jets 35-17. Second back, deuce close. Ball on the line there for the Saints. Peters has a time. Throws it right up the middle. Back shoulder throw to Daryl McCoy, who gets about almost the first down on his own. Six for 69 today. Definitely targeted quite a bit. Watch this uh, safety blitz off the left side. Single back punch right. Play action here. That's what I said. Watch out for it. Oh, my gosh. He's able to break the tackle, but he's like, chuck that sucker out of bounds. So they all can't do anything with that drive. Now, I hope is can they stop the Saints defense of it again? Can they stop the Saints offense? Once again, fair catch inside the 20. Let's see what this good vet can do there for the Saints. Wide bunch left. Defense coming out with five on the line. They send six. He doesn't seem worried about it, and that's a wheel route. The running backs take it to the 40, the 30, the 20, 10, 5, big touchdown, 85 yards. Joel Friedman off the wheel route. It was, I thought it was a running back. It was the wide receiver rocking a running back freaking number. And Gregory Boston gets beat off the play. And the Elk are down by two possessions here. Not looking good for the Elk. They've been on a little bit of a streak, man. Oh, took his one play. 28-16 here. The defense, and you know, I don't know if it's necessarily a bad offense. I think it's just my O-line's all tired, man. They're all busted up. We got, you gotta keep everyone together, and when people start getting hurt, team starts to falter, so. Here comes Brendan Peters ready to roll here, 28-16. Two tight ends on the left side of the line. Wide receiver stack right. Play action here. Throws it underneath. Don't know what the heck that was about, but that was not good. Shotgun formation. Three receiver set. Two on the left, one on the right. Anderson on the left side of that line. Send four here to the Saints. Peters takes his time. Throws a deep shot. Intended for Ramon Hayes. And that goes nowhere. Third and ten. Wide bunch right. We're in four down territory already. This team's down. You've got to take chances. Uh, I don't know what the heck's going on. Peters has time. He's going to try to take off and run for the first down. And he took way too long. It'll be fourth and five. Is within range. We got a lot of plays within uh, the short to, to middle. And he goes for the big bomb. Defended. Turnover and downs, and the Elk defense has to get back out there. Tough situation for the Elk, you know. Uh, the defense being put in a uh, precarious spot, having to play in such short field, but offense just looks like nothing is clicking for them. 5.30 left here in this one. Going for a fake jet sweep. Halfback dive play action. Quarterback can't get loose. Basket gets a sack. Third and 19. Got to get pushing back a little bit further here. Wide bunch right. Saints just hoping to stay within range here. Send four. He's going to rotate, and he gets hit on that one. Good play right there by 97. Yeah, it's about a 51-yarder off the left hash. It's doable. Hold is good. Kick is good. Too bad there. Way to get it done, young man. Way to get it done. Saints, they are up by a bunch. Just want to see if my guys can get within range to at least score a touchdown and make this interesting, but nothing seems to be working for these guys. 31-16 here. Let's see what Peters can do. Bunch left. O line holding on. Checks down and nothing happens on that one. 
My goodness, shotgun spread set. Six in the box, 4-10 left here in this one. Green pocket, Peters throws it right up the middle. What a catch by Anderson. That was a very small window. Nice to see Anderson hang on to that one. Got a wide bunch left scenario once again, but they got to keep it going, man. They got no choice. You got to speed this up. Peters, thinking about it, the, yeah, makes sense, dude. The, the edges get collapsed. You know, they don't got their main guys on the O-line. These are tough. Second and 12, and they decide to run, and what a decision is that as Harold gets it all the way to the 15-yard line. Oh, my gosh. Our left tackle is hurt now. Our left guard is hurt now. Travis heading to the tunnel. He got first and 10 now at the 15. Single back, deuce close. But, uh, handoff there. 13 for 46. They got to go, man. Wide receiver stack left here. Send five. Peters throws it. I don't know who he threw that to. Ready, 116. Trips left. Right up the middle. Almost picked off. Oh, my gosh. The Saints are really doing work here, man. They're 2-5, and five and they are playing like they are undefeated. Fourth and 10. Peters rolling out. There's a flag on the play. He catches it on the comeback route is Lance Nickerson. But I think it's a holding call. Oh, my gosh. It's the backup guard. Oh, it's the center, Dalton O'Neal. Now it's fourth and 20. The Elk got lucky on that. I don't know if they can get lucky again. If I'm the Saints, I'd send a ton. Oh, they got two QB spies. That'll do it. We're going to go ahead and send past this. Unbelievable. Elk just did not look good on that game. Do it, the Elk. Get smoke there. So we jump into the last couple minutes of this game, and the Elk have a dominant win against another. They get a second chance against a two-win team here. They lose to the Saints, give them their third win, but today it looks like <laughs> just like, uh, I guess I'll play on words to the QB's last name. There is a mulligan here for these Elk to redeem themselves. 31 6 4 36 left play action here for Mulligan. He steps back. He's thinking about throwing the ball, and he does not. It's too late. Second and 10. It's good to see this team fighting back, though, man. I really like how we've set up this team. We found some really nice stars and gems in the offseason, as well as the free agency market. Wow, what an incredible catch. Mulligan's got two interceptions. They're down by a ton, so they're not necessarily going to rush to get up field or get up to the ball there well again throws a interesting toss to the tight end you can see thomas getting it done Ooh, wide bunch right wide receiver stack left empty bench 353 left send four throws a wheel route and there it is that tends to get us there but that's a good angle by 31 there you go Big play by Waters. Griffin with the tackle now. See if Mulligan can score before the end of this one here. They're going to try to put a touchdown on the board. To at least uh, save face a little bit. In, stepping back. Trouble! Able to get that pass. I don't know. I thought my guy had that. Second and goal there. 235. Defense pretty much saying, okay, go ahead and run the ball in. Oh, we want to pass. Okay. Whoa, what a hit. Austin getting it done there. Third and goal. See what he does right now, man. The, the Broncos getting stuck right here at the line. Out route. Nice catch. Yeah, we got beat there. Good catch by Damian Devine. 31 to 13 after this extra point. But you got to be okay with this defense, man. He only allowed 13 points. Just going to try an onside kick here. Catch by Ramon Hayes. So we'll exit out of this. Get ourselves out. 
on to the next one. 31-13, maybe they score again before the end of this game, but it is all good. You have it. They'll get it done. So we got a close one here in the fourth quarter. Rams down 21-14. The Elk fighting hard here. Send four. Good pass right there by Purdy. Brock Purdy. Wow, he's still in the game, huh? He's the wily old veteran now. Two tight ends on the right side of that line. Second and two. You're going to hand it off to 26, who gets the first down. Smith, 11 for 39 today. He's got the rushing defense has been nice for the Elk. Defense recognizing the rush package here. Three tight end set here for the Rams. They're going for an outside zone. The defense cut it off. Great job. Love to see Hardesty coming downhill there. He's turning out to be a very good free safety for us. Tied in off the right side of the line. Shotgun formation here. Second and nine. They send five. He throws it quickly. Gets the catch. Birdie letting him know. Hey, what do we do? What do we do? Shotgun bunch left. Third and six. Can the defense hold it down? Play action here for Purdy. Purdy rolling out. He's in trouble. He throws it way quickly. McLean getting in his face. They love to see that there. It's fourth and six. And the Rams saying, hey, man, no risk it, no biscuit. Let's get it done. Trips left. They send four here for the Rams. He throws it underneath on the Texas route. Out of the backfield, and they get the first down. Are you kidding me? What a catch. His first catch of the game. Single back bunch left here. Defense having to stay on the field. Play action here for Purdy. Purdy has time. Can't get the ball off. There was a pressure coming at the QB on that one. Trips left here. Purdy looking around. Sees that he's only got four on the line there on the defense. Oh, but the defense gets through. He throws it quickly on the check down. What a hit by 32. Waters, one of our backup safeties there getting it done. The defense setting up here on a uh, trips against a trips left. Oh my gosh. The pressure just bullied their way through. There's a veteran Adams who's having a resurgence in his career. Uh, that veteran is killing it, dude. Adams has been such a blessing for us, but look at that. The O-line for the Rams just got smoked. The fourth and 19 at the 40, it's a 45 yarder. They have no choice. They gotta boot this thing. Old is good. He is good. And just put some points on the board there. Let's get it done. Let's see if the offense can try to put some points here. At least a field goal would be nice. What just happened? 21 17, 754 left here. And I'm hoping for something pretty good. Oh. Gonna take it out of the end zone to the 20, 21, maybe? Errol, nowhere to go. All right, Peter's setting up on an empty bench, it looks like. Nope, shotgun trips right. That was a weird camera angle. They send four. Peter's has time, throws it to the flats there. They're going to get it to Harrell for a two-yard gain. Single back, two tight ends on the left side of the line. Wide receiver stack right. Defense with five on the line. Peter's taking a bunch of steps back, but he throws a nice laser to Ramon Hayes. We get a first and 10 at the 35. Need to go, young man. Bunch right here. 645. Peters, clean pocket. He's going to take off running. Should have ran a little bit more to the outside there. Tough luck on that one. Three receiver set, two on the left, one on the right. Tight end, Anderson off the right side of that line. They send four. Peters throws an out route. What a catch by Hayes. He reestablished himself, though, and went back a couple yards. Third and three, bunch right. 540 left here in this one. We need a first down. What a... Oh, he dropped it! Lamb, the rookie, dropped the ball, and it's fourth and three. Oh, my goodness. Yelk have to try to stop him once again. Uh, it's a touchback.
All right, shotgun set here for Purdy. He's going to hand it off to 26. Plenty of room to run. Nice move. He gets about 12 on that rush. Wow. Come on, man. Purdy poised in the pocket, just waits for an opening and gets it done. Passes it to 87 there. Let's keep it rolling. Shotgun set. Tight end off the right side of that line. Purdy hands it. Oh, read option. What a move. But the defense was in full. They came downhill. Teron Choice with the smackdown. That's third and two. He thought it was possible. They're going to hand it off this time. The read option worked this time. Good play. All right, all right. 315 left here. The crossing midfield. Empty bench for the Rams. Can Brock Purdy get him down there? 2-4 mug. They pulled back. They only rushed four. Purdy had to throw it away. So hey, let's reset it. Let's reset it. Let's get back to it, man. Shotgun. Oh, pistol set. Excuse me. Tight end off the right side of that line. Purdy throws an... Oh, wow. That was weird. That was not a great play call. It was like a bench or sticks call right there. Strange. Shotgun bunch left. Third and 11 here for these Rams. Can the Elk shut them down? Defense pressuring. What a play right there. There was a lot of contact. No call made, though. Wow. No call made. It's fourth and 11. They're going to just, hey, trust the defense, I guess. My goodness. What a punt, dude. You can't make that up. Okay, come on. Shotgun set here. First and 10 at the 10. Two tight ends on the right side of that line. Wide receiver stack left. Peters is going to throw it right up the middle. What a catch by Anderson. What a catch by Anderson. Bunch left. Seven in the box here for the Rams. Yeah, they're recognizing we're going to try to run the ball. Alan Cox gets it done there for a three-yard gain. And that should get us a two-minute warning. Let's see what you can do here, man. Come on. Single back set. Misdirection handoff there. 29 just tries to force the Rams to use the timeouts. So they got two left. But if the Elk can convert right here, that's it. It should be over. Peters throws it. Oh my gosh. He probably should have down threw it down low towards Anderson, but it's fourth and nine. They got two timeouts. What are you going to do here? Going to boot this thing. It's about the 26-yard line. Rams trying to return it. Quincy Thomas says, no, thank you. All right, here we go. Shotgun set. This is it. Can Purdy get it done? They send four. Purdy feels the pressure. He got smoked by McLean. Loss of two yards there. Third sack for these uh, Elk. Second and 12. No huddle scenario here. Purdy throws it up the middle. Wide open is a tight end. What a play. Number 88 is ready to roll. And it's no huddle situation. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. One minute left here. Defense trying to get to him. Purdy rolling out. Tries to check down. Luckily, the running back had the wherewithal to drop the ball. Or at least you'd think he would do that. Knowing that's not going to help anybody. 57 seconds later, uh, left here. They still got two timeouts. Trips right. The Rams uh, are dealing with four defenders at the line. He's in trouble. Big sick. Big sick. Third and 14 here. Trips right. The defensive line is formidable. They send four. Purdy, he's in trouble, throws the ball away and says, hey, we're just going to try to hope we can get this done here. 
Fourth and a country mile. They're going verts. Is the defense ready for it? You gotta watch that guy, that tight end on the slot. Birdie has time! And it's defended! Game is over! The Elk win! So the Elk are up by eight here with less, with a little over three minutes left in this game. Peters throws a shot. What a catch! What a catch! Daryl McCoy converts the first down. And we're looking at a new set of downs here. And they are chewing the clock. They know they have this thing. They kick a field goal. They should be able to lock it up, but they need to keep drawing the clock. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> there was a check down and a guy came across the field. <laughs> In himself. Wow. Single back dude's close. Peter sees something. He makes a change. I think he's going to run it. Nope. He's going to pass it. They are so eager to throw a touchdown. And Carroll goes out of bounds. Stops the clock again. What are you guys doing, dude? I guess they like the suspense here. We're looking at shotgun bunch right. 217 left here in this one. Third and four. Peters feels it. Sidearms it. <laughs> Peters just misses it. But the Elk know what's going on. 214 left here. They feel pretty confident. As long as they can shut the armadillos out here uh, or, or force them to use every bit of time there, they should be able to lock this up. Two possessions with two minutes is usually pretty tough. Elk are going to boot this out right now. And take it from the one. 23. Wow, that dude carried one of my elk. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Now it's time for the armadillos to get it done. Trips right. They send five. Throws it underneath. Good tackle right there. So uh, we did bring back Bartell. Bartell uh, was injured for most of the season. Um, and he was the guy that I decided to bring back from the IR. I'm glad I did. Because I think that allows Boston to play starting slot and work through it. And there it is, Hardesty with the pick. Intended for 85. And the Elk get it done with the defense. The free safety Hardesty, man. My goodness. This guy was like a mid-round pick for us. And he was like in the 60s when we picked him up. And... And oh man, has he become something special for us. Him and Teron Choice. I didn't realize how important uh, getting two safeties were in, in this in these drafts. It's been working out. There goes Harold just following his blockers. Gets about two there. The Armadillos call timeout. They're just hoping. Hoping and praying, huh? 148 left. Draw play here. And on Cox season that yeah the running game has not been good but I would say this the passing games worked out a little bit uh, the defense really holding uh, a lot of offenses out here for very little points armadillo is being shut down to, and and held to only 12 assuming they they kicked two field goals had a touchdown maybe missed a um, two-point conversion there but elk are up pretty strong now the armadillos have to score two touchdowns uh, otherwise it is game over the armadillo fans for a long time this team had much control over the division it's not looking like that anymore looks like the elk are stepping up they're letting everyone know what's up Three receiver set here, 134. Uh, Armadillos have one timeout remaining. They check down in. Oh my gosh, 89 got away. He got away. Look at the speed. He's going to take it to the 30, the 20, 10, 5. What just happened? What just happened? Zach Hawkins, he just broke a tackle and then put on the turbos. Dude, look at this. We had two of our guys there. And he just broke the tackles. Quincy Thomas and J.R. Burke got smoked. What a way for that drive to be. The Elk weren't expecting it. He got tackled like 
or he got hit at like five yards in front of the line of scrimmage so they're gonna have to settle for a onside kick this isn't going to be easy Lone Hayes picks it up we got one timeout I don't think that'll be enough so this is a crazy game right now as we're about six little over six minutes left in this one and the score is nine to six holy crap the defensive line just bullied their way through basket getting involved on that one and it is fourth and long here oh my gosh dude there was an interior lot yeah that was freaking uh what weston might it might have been they got through and they showed up what a play heavy defensive game though nine to six kind of crazy there 548 left here in this one falcons gonna punt this off let's see what they can do here they are going to the elk are gonna start the drive with the 43 let's see how peters can work man nine six five thirty eight left can get close enough maybe score a touchdown that would really change the game there hands it off and caulfield nowhere to go we have him uh you know trying to get involved in the rush game caulfield over harrell and cox i wanted to see you know how this running game has been working out it just hasn't been great empty bench set peter's rolling out he's got time he's gonna try to take off he had so much blocking in front of him he could have just waited and uh it's too late it's third and long 430 left falcons defense really holding them at bay they go for the screen and nowhere to go there for caulfield unfortunately the elks offense is Duke once again now this is a division opponent so they know each other very well seem to always figure it out these elk oh Mooney almost did it bounces into the end zone will start the drive at the 20 uh oh come on come on elk you're up by three 348 left these guys just got to get to about the 40 yard line to make it work outside zone there Nice move by 34, but way to stick with it there is Quincy uh, Burke. Not Quincy, but J.R. Burke there. Love it, love it, love it. Let's keep it rolling. Come on, come on, come on. They hand it off. 34 got hit immediately, but he was still able to get back to the line of scrimmage. Great job by Baker there. Can't really be upset about that. Single back deuce close, third and five. It was an out route. Gets the first down. There's a flag on the play. There's a flag on the play. Oh, wow. Roughing the passer. That is not what you need right there. And they are at the 50-yard line. Midfields, 49-50. Single back formation here. 235 left. They send four. Throws it to the flats there. Tight end goes out of bounds. At the 46, they're just kind of trucking along, it looks like here. They go back, deuce close. 2.30 left here in this one. Quarterback, he's in trouble! He's able to get the ball off, but Idiot had to come back. He didn't gain any yards on that. Great defense right there by the linebackers. Wide bunch right, wide receiver stack left, empty bench. 2.25 left here in this one. They sent five, four, there it is. They sent five. That is Foreman, our rookie there. Getting it done, it's fourth and 12. And I'm wondering, right, do you, do you try and just be cool with it? And kick the, and, and just hope you're out deep. Nope, they're gonna go for it. This is tough. He's got time, throws it right to the left. What a defensive play. What a defensive play right there. I think that was Bartell. Oh my goodness. 155 left. Now the Falcons have all three timeouts. So if they can keep the Elk out of field goal range, it'll be like that didn't happen. But there it is outside zone. And there you get it. Caulfield with the first down. Falcons use a timeout. They know this is pretty much it. But here's the thing. It truly isn't over because if the Falcons get the ball back with time, 
you're talking about you know touchdown or bust there and the defense you know has to try to hold tight but it's been pretty awesome to see these last couple games simming through the elk have really done work when it came to the defense third and three here we're going for a pass gets the no he doesn't what a knockdown by 58 and the elk will settle for a field goal here it's been an ugly game for both offenses um, uh, offenses incredible games for the defenses but now you're looking at melvin putting it through the uprights there it is 12 to 6. can the defense hold it down for one more shot we've gotten smoked by wheel routes uh during this episode so i wouldn't be surprised if they try to lean on that that was a bad decision to return there 133 left qb has some time can he get it done? Shotgun set. Wide receiver stack right. 133 left. They send four. Goes it to the right and it's picked off. Lands in the hands of Gregory Boston. Oh, baby playing slot. Looks like he ran the route for him. Belton can't believe it. Belton can't believe it. Yeah, he, he ran that post pattern for him. Ooh, look at this. Cuts it aggressively underneath baby let's go that should do it let's head for the bye week and end of this episode woo, 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 woo. the elk get it done it's an ugly win but it's a win nonetheless so xavier klein jr gets it done once again it is another division opponent down on this one. That was a tough game, though. Falcons definitely had the ingredients to, to beat us uh, defensively. Offensively, not so much. Belton threw two picks today. Both teams just played ugly. Looks like there was a lot of fourth down or third down and punt kind of scenarios. Three down punt scenarios. Rushing game was horrendous. Receiving game. Ramon Hayes did some work, but that's pretty much it. No... Daniel again giving up two sacks. Uh, defensively, double digit tackles for Leslie Jack and a, uh, Jackson, a corner. Earl Bartell getting eight. J.R. Burke getting eight. Three tackles for loss. Ramon Brackett injured on this game. Chris Basket with three tackles for loss. We had a sack for Cohn, four men, and then a half for Devontae Adams and Stevens. Two picks. J.R. Burke in Boston. You love it, man. You just got to hope. Can we hang it on? We're going to get our butts to the bye week, give ourselves a chance to kind of unwind and uh, head to, and prep for the, the last leg of the season. Hopefully we're playoff bound, but it feels good. We're three games ahead of uh, in, in our division, so I'm hoping for the best. Did we get a breakout player scenario? Our Desti, let's go, my guy. We got another superstar on the team. Are you kidding me? We got another superstar on the team. This defense looks formidable. Then we got this immovable object kind of storyline here. And uh, it says they're all sweet. Maybe a little sweeter because of the additional challenge. But it's hard winning games in this league. So every W is sweet. Hey, man. That plus five morale is such a big, big uh, move for us. But I love it. The team... Is strong. We're nine and three, folks. Uh, let me get past the bye week and let's look at the stat line. Maybe we'll see the playoff bracket as well. We'll get past the bye week. We'll be right back. So this is where we will leave it, folks. The Elk are nine and three, heading to week fourteen. Let's check out the playoff picture. What does this look like now? Oh my goodness! Can you believe this, folks? The Elk are the number one seed in the NFC. Yeah, the Vikings at the two seed. You got some other teams here like the Niners and stuff. Uh, on the AFC side, Raiders continuing to do work with Drake May. Uh, th that, that guy has been very successful as a Raider. Uh, it's kind of incredible. We'll probably go back and look at the history here before we end the episode. But the Cat and Aviators getting it done. You got the San Diego Sentinels fighting for the seventh seed. Uh, but it's pretty incredible. And like I talk about the Raiders... Very, very solid team. 
Uh, when you look at the league history here, we can kind of go back and check it out. So in 2035, right, the Armadillos made it. They're a guy from a team from our division. Uh, the Texans finally get their Super Bowl. Uh, there it is right there. Raiders 2034. Raiders 2035. Uh, three right there. Canton wins it. Looks like they get one. Raiders again. Look at that. 2030. Raiders again. 2028. Like, that's the thing you got to remember. Raiders 2025. Like, they made it to the Super Bowl. It just shows you how incredible uh, the Raiders kind of built their team over time. And they continue to do work with Drake May, who's now a very good, you know, he's an older guy, 30-something years old now. He's kicking butt. So the Elk have a chance here. They look so good. Can they keep this going here? If they can get to the playoffs and win the Super Bowl, that will be a great way to end the series. That's the hope. Win the Super Bowl, end the series. Wait for the next uh, Madden that's coming out in a couple months or when this video comes out in about a month. So looking forward to that one. But that'll do it for us today, everybody. If you like what you saw, please drop a like. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Most importantly, subscribe to keep up with the series. The elk looking good, baby. Let's keep it rolling. As always, antlers up. Have a good one.